The new One Account is a high interest earning free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer. Member FDIC. Complete. That's the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois with a full sports medicine clinic, state-of-the-art MRI, a spine care team that focuses on pain management, arthroscopy specialists offering total joint replacement, hand surgery, and complete rehabilitation services. Doctors Kuhl, Ahn, Kowalski, Freehill, and Smith stand ready to serve you today with offices in Mount Vernon and Centralia and satellite offices in Benton and Nashville. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Whether it's Mother Nature's inability to decide on a season, a weekend that got a little out of hand, or just life, there's always something looking to damage your vehicle. This is Chase Landers from Landers Collision Centers. Maybe winter weather turned your full-size sedan into a compact, or a little hail has your truck looking like Swiss cheese. Perhaps a deer decided to go for a ride on your hood, or maybe your truck is missing its hitch and bumper after pulling your little brother out of the ditch last weekend. Did a bad breakup leave a little graffiti on your SUV? We hope not, but we've seen it all, and we certainly don't judge. Whatever mess life has created for your vehicle, we'll clean it up. As a direct repair facility for many insurance companies, we take care of just about everything, even getting you into a temporary vehicle while we restore yours. That's the Lander's difference. Top to bottom, big or small, Lander's fixes them all. Come see us in Mount Vernon and Salem and ask us about free detailing for the life of your vehicle. Or call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Shuka with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Into this one already at the Heron Regional. We apologize for our technical issues prior to the contest in your Landers Collision Center's pregame show, but 1-1 is the count to Hannah Wright leading things off. We'll run down the rest of the page insurance batting order here in just a moment as the 1-1 is going to slip low on the way to the right-handed right fielder, Hannah Wright, for a 2-1 count. Rachel Wright, Hannah Carbonero, Mallory Garner, Rachel Kirsch, Lauren Wilson, Colleen Scoble, Bria Meyer, Makaya Rush. Her Lance Gold Flyer today is this one's going to be blistered in the right center field. That could go, and that is a home run for right to give the Lady Rams an early one nothing lead. Well, that kind of started out like it did last year, you remember, the home run, and Mount Vernon jumps out on top again, one nothing early on. And what a big at-bat that was for Hannah Wright. That actually ties the single-season hit mark in Mount Vernon Township High School history with 50. Next one breaks the record and gives her the all-time mark. So with Rachel Wright standing in, empty bases, Nobody out here in the top of the first. Lady Rams with an early one nothing lead. Defensively for the Terriers, it's Lindsey Sears doing the pitching. Cheyenne Fulmer behind the plate. Logan Bowlby, Carly Williard, Sam Cattell, Lauren Butler from third to first. Skyler Miller, Olivia Clark Hiddleston, and McKenna Miller from left to right in the outfield. WIX Mount Vernon, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. We hit the bottom of the four o'clock hour. We also hit the outside corner of the pitch there to Rachel Wright, the catcher. Nothing to one the count. Lady Ranch with an early one nothing lead if you're just joining us. A big home run by Hannah Wright. And now it's one and one as that misses to Rachel Wright. Tied for most hits in a year, correct? Correct. So now one ball, one strike to count to Rachel. Here comes. Swings the inside pitch and misses. One ball, two strikes. Rachel's got a lot to uh, have to go back to the dugout with the big sister saying, hey, guess what I just did? I just went about 220. Have fun. As she did over the center field wall. Now we wait the one two. Wright gets a piece of it, fouls it off. Count stays the same, one ball, two strikes. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of high school sports here on WMIX. Find them online at countfirstbank.net. Read all about that one checking account. It's free checking with high yield interest. The one two on the way is going to miss outside. Three, two balls, two strikes. The catcher right. Oh, the football coach here at Heron is absolutely comedian today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh-huh. He says he's working. Two two is in the dirt, full count now to right. On deck, Hannah Carbonero, the first baseman, Mallory Garner, the senior to follow. Here in Lance Bolt's line of page insurance. Find him on Crown View in Mount Vernon or call for a health quote at two four two seven thousand. Full count. Gonna miss inside, and that'll be a walk after the home run to Rachel Wright. That's a good start for Mount Vernon. And Mighty Rams have come out aggressive as there'll be a courtesy runner coming in for Rachel Wright. And Mount Vernon right now, again, just like last year, very aggressive out of the gate as well. Started bringing Carbonero with one on and only 
nobody out, I guess, here in the top half of the first. Uh, Hannah Wright home run, the difference thus far. Last year, she hit a home run as well. Remember, Paige Clinton led the game off with a home run. Lockhart had a home run, I think. And uh, Hannah Wright hit a home run, back two home runs in the first inning, and then Lockhart hit one in the third. What a crazy game that was. Hoping to avoid a repeat of that today as the first pitch to Carbonaro is going to catch for a strike. It's nothing to want to Hannah. With one on and nobody out, the courtesy runner is Sydney Morgan for the Lady Rams. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside WMIX, WMIXSports.com. The pitch is going to catch the outside corner. Nothing in two. Guy Stevens back at our Mount Vernon studio. The special presentation of Alfred and Lady Ram softball. Middle name Shadow? No. Okay. Not for the block either. The 0 2 coming. So I'm going to miss outside. This is going to be a stolen base attempt for Morgan. She'll take it. But the Lady Rams have their first down on the strikeout. Now a runner in scoring position for Mallory Garner, who has hit the ball well this year. Well, aggressive. Lance Bolt, very aggressive in his game today. Home run and a stolen base on the Lady Rams with another runner in scoring position. Well, good opportunity here for Garner, who's batting 379 on the year. Has an RBI chance with one on and one out, top of the first. One nothing to score. Lady Rams on top of Carpenter early, but Garner's going to take a first pitch inside, and it'll be nothing and one on the count. One run, one hit thus far. Lady Rams on top, the number four seed in this Heron Regional against the number one Carbondale Terriers. Nothing in one pitch. Ooh, just misses. Off of the plate, one ball, one strike here to Garner. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. You can find us on Facebook as well as we wait the 1-1. One, one. one on, one out here in the first. The one nothing Lady Ram lead is that's going to come in about the shoe tops to Garner 2-1. Tell you what, very good start here by Mount Vernon. Indeed it is as we wait the two-ball, one-strike pitch here at Cubs, and that one's going to be just underneath from Garner. They'll let it drop in foul territory for the strike. It's 2-2. Two two. Ball's going to carry a little bit more today. It's a hot, humid day. No wind. A lot of rain around. You can see to the northeast, a lot of rain. Dark clouds. Not sure if much coming from the southwest is going to get us. Hopefully, we can get it in this year. Two balls, two strikes. Here comes the corner. She'll pop this one up foul. She'll hit the facility here. Two balls, two strikes. It remains with one on and one out at the top of the first. Hannah Wright let off the game with a home run. That was over the center field wall. And now a 2 2 count on Mallory Garner, the senior, with one out. Rachel Kirsch, the on deck circles. Lady Rams are looking to put some runs on the board here early against Sears. Popped up foul, almost identical location. It's going to be two and two again. Two pretty good swings by Mallory Garner. She's having a very good at bat here. Definitely right on the pitch. She's just got to straighten one out here. Two balls, two strikes, one on one gone. Here comes the pitch on the way. Wow, that's a frozen rope down the left field line. This could score Morgan. She's around third, headed for home. And then the second base with an RBI double is Garner to make it two to nothing. That ball's roped down the third baseline. Pitch up in the zone, and Mallory jumped on it and hit it. And the Lady Rams jump out two nothing here early on in a visit to the mound from Carbondale. Well, they got to check things out here. Of course, Kim Wheeler going to make the trek out there for Center by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Dr. Eric Black and staff proudly support the Mount Vernon Rams and the Lady Rams, as well as the local community. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski. So glad to have you with us. It was a follow on the Twitterverse at WMIX Sports. So far, two runs on two Lady Ram hits. And looking to strike early and throw a crooked number up here in the first. Bigger crooked number would be nice. Jump out on top of Sears right now. The hardware right now not going well for Sears. Too much up in the zone. And Rachel Kirsch, who had a good game on Friday against Salem, steps to the plate. So it'll be Kirsch to stand in the left fielder with one on and one out here. RBI chances. A check swing, a pitch on the inner half of the plate makes it nothing to one here for the left fielder. Winner gets the Saturday regional championship game. That is at 11 o'clock here. Winner of Heron and Marion. That semifinal will be tomorrow as the 0-1. Smacks Fallon near the first base dugout. That'll be nothing in two. Last year, Carbondale beat Mount Vernon and lost in the regional final here on this field. 2-0 to score here in the top of the first. Pitch outside, good weights. It'll be one ball, two strikes now to Kirsch with Wilson on deck. Later, Rams softball is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Don't forget about that free high yield, free checking with high-yield interest. It's the one account, account first. Rung up on the outside corner, and so a called third strike for Kirsch. 
Needs two outs and the runner on second for Lauren Wilson. Adwards stuff. That's a big strike out there for Sears. And that's, that one kind of hurts you a little bit from Mount Vernon. Curse is so good with the bat. You figured she'd put it in play. And unfortunately for Mount Vernon, it did not. Sarah Wilson can do here. She has an RBI chance. Garner had an RBI double to score Rachel Kirsch, who walked. And now the first pitch is swinging a miss. It's nothing to Wanda Wilson. Now, or I should say, the Johnson City 2 8 softball sectional game. Pinkneyville Carterville delayed now till 5 25. No balls, one strike to count to Wilson. Here comes. Looks like she takes a strike on the outside corner. It's nothing to do. Calling the balls and strikes is Ted Knapp of Mount Vernon. As we have an 0-2 count, two outs, a runner on second here in the top of the first. Lady Rams score twice earlier. Hannah Wright home run, a Rachel Wright walk, and then a Mallory Garner RBI double. Gives the Play that again one more time. Come on. No way. Quickly. We're lucky I got that out the first time. As the 0-2 comes, check swing. Nope. Nope. Oh, low. One nope. or two. Do it again. Come on. There's no way. I got that out. That's what's crazy about it. Do it again. You can no. handle it. Too many W's, too many R's in that for that to be oh. possible. Oh. Especially with... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not good times. Nice breeze, though, coming into the press box here and here. And as the 1 2 is going to be on the inside corner, that'll get the Terriers out of the inning. Meanwhile, Lady Rams take a 2 0 lead through one half. We come back, we meet the Terriers. This is Lady Rams Softball from WMI Exports. Rams baseball and Lady Rams softball seasons are winding down. But what about your corporate season? It's time to make the call to the bullpen for Winning Edge's high-quality screen print and embroidering apparel to equip your employee team in style. From uniforms to polos to T-shirts to awards, ad products and more, Winning Edge can customize to meet your needs out in the field of the business world. Find Winning Edge in downtown Mount Vernon at 212 South 9th Street or see their work online at winningedgeusa.com or find even more on Facebook. Registration for fall classes at Renly College is going on now. With more than 100 degree and certificate programs, RLC can put you on the fast track to a new career or to continue your education. More affordable than four-year universities and private schools, you can save thousands of dollars at RLC. Our trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Walk-in registration continues through August 15th. Call us at 437-5321 or find us online at rlc.edu. Ridden Lake College, your journey starts here. Back to Mount Vernon Lady Rams softball. Powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Shuko with Denny Zerwinski alongside. Mount Vernon Lady Rams in regional play today against the Carbondale Terriers. They have two runs, two hits. We head to the bottom of the first. We need to, need to meet the Terrier lineup. Presented by the Page Agency. Call for help. Quota 2427000. Sam Goodale, Lauren Butler, Olivia Clark Kittleson, Logan Bowlby, Carly Willard, Skylar Miller, Cheyenne Palmer, Paige Bird, and of course McKenna Miller for the Carbondale Terriers. Two runs on two hits in that first inning for the Lady Rams. They did strand a runner. Now for the Terriers, it's Goodale Butler. Clark Kittleson lead things off in the bottom half of this first inning. Bria Meyer picks up the Ball out of the circle for the Lady Rams today. We'll meet the defense here in just a moment as the first pitch is going to come. It's a strike across the plate to Goodale. And it's nothing to walk. Garner, Wilson, Stewart, Carbonero are your infield for third to first. Wright doing the catching. It's Rachel Kirsch, Makaya Rush, and Hannah Wright in the outfield from left to right. The 0-1. They've tried to throw a curveball in the inner half of the plate. It's fouled off for nothing and two. WMIX today. Of course, WMIX, WMIX Sports Town tomorrow from Alfred and Rams Base Specs at Thursday. Threw me off a little bit. Thursdays when the Rams have Marion at home in the regional. As the 0 2 gets up high, one ball, two strikes to go down. Tomorrow is Carbondale Centuria Part 32. For the year. <laughs> Mount Vernon and Marion will play for the 50th time. I want to left it off at the inner half of the plate. That's going to get to the fence. It'll be one, at least two now for Goodale. She will round second and stay put with a leadoff double. The golf ball was traveling today. So was the softball. Flying right out of there. Scoreboard update today will be presented by your State Farm agent in Mount Vernon, Tony Wilt. You can find him online at TonyWilt.com. Look for the white State Farm team around town. Get to a better state with State Farm. As in steps Butler. Ooh, nice slash there. That's going to be up the middle for a base hit. They're going to try to score Goodale. Smith's play booted by the center fielder, but they're going to hold up Goodale anyway. It'll be runners at the quarters. I don't think Coach Wheeler thought that that was going to be booted, obviously. And instead of taking chances, it's first and third and nobody out, and Carbondale setting themselves up for a big inning. So now this will bring it. Olivia Clark Kittleson let off, I think, last year. But has been in Kim Wheeler's lineup for four years. 
Two on, nobody out. Showed Bond pulled back. It goes high. It's one note to Clark Hiddleston with Baldy on deck for the Terriers, who are 21-6 and six coming in. Of course, the Central Yannies were your South Seven Conference champions again this year. As we wait the 1-0, oh, here comes outside. Out the corner, however, it's 1-1. One one. Video streaming returns in August from Alfred and Rams football with Taylorville. You can find that game, of course, at WYXSports.com. Presented by Red Lake College with the videos. This is lifted in the right field. That's going to be trouble. Gets away from Heinz, but it's actually out there in right. That's a change to one. If Goodale comes at the score, Butler stops the third. It'll be second and third on the RBI double. Well, if you like offense, this is the place to be. That ball is lined to the right side, right field, over the head, and out to the warning track, 195 feet away. And this one here has started out to be a high-scoring ball game. So I bring in Bowlby, nobody out, but two aboard. Tying run on third base for the Terriers here in the bottom half of the first inning. Now one run on three hits, the pitch from Meyer. Catches a plate for a strike, nothing to one, but what a big first thing this could lead to for the Terriers with back-to-back-to-back hits to open it up. Two doubles and a single, turned on, left field side into the bullpen. It'll be a strike. Now nothing in two to Bowlby. This is a swing first, think later kind of game. Everybody getting their rips in. A lot of people getting some good swings. Already in the game, three runs, five hits. And we haven't gotten out of the first inning yet, which started at 426. Bowlby has an 0-2 count. Two on, nobody out here for the Terriers. Turns on another pitch inside. Lines that foul toward the third base dugout. And it stays nothing in two to the Carbonell third baseman. Terriers swept the regular season series. Lady Rams trying to avoid getting beaten by a third time, or for a third time, by the Terriers. This pitch is going to miss low and away. One ball, two strikes to Logan Bowlby. Right-handed Bowlby turns on another pitch inside. I don't know if that's a play. If you're trying to jam, I don't know if that's going to happen with the Mm -hmm. quick hands of Logan Bowlby. Going to have to go somewhere else in order to get that. One, two, coming. This one is lifted down toward the left field line. Kirsch on the run, just foul. Almost triple for the Lady Rams. That would have played it a couple. Now the count stays one ball, two strikes. Nobody out, two on, two to one, your score. Lady Rams scored twice in the top half of the first inning, but now Carbondale threatening. Which dual RBI chance of nobody out here in the home half. As Bowlby will dig back in, the right-handed third baseman takes it high. Good at bat thus far. It's two and two. Need to move the ball around the zone a little bit, sticking in that one spot. It's going to be a hit. Hard hit ground ball on the right side. Good diving stop by Stewart to keep it in front, but that's going to score a run on the RBI single. Infield hit, tied at two on the squibber. And unfortunately for Stewart, she couldn't get it and couldn't get the out. Now it starts getting a little bit worse from Mount Vernon. Two to the score, runners at the corners for the Terriers, nobody out. That's going to be a hard hit ground ball to short. Picked up by Wilson, stepped on the back, threw, even though the runner was already there to first base. A run does score as Lady Rams sacrificed the run. No first out. First out of the inning on the fielder's choice, six. No RBI, but the Lady Terriers have come back with three runs. It's 3 2 now. One on and one out here for the Dogs. They lead 3-2 to two here in the bottom half of the first inning. As now we will see Skylar Miller stand in and she'll take one outside. One ball, no strikes. Think about it with five runs so far, maybe more in this inning. You can't put your head down if you're Mount Vernon. You know there's more runs out there to be had the rest of the way. 1-0 the count, one gone, a runner aboard here in the bottom of the first. And that pitch slips low and away to the right-handed Miller. And it'll be 2-0 now to Skylar. She's a left fielder. As we wait the 2 0, here comes across the plate. 2 and 1. <laughs> 2 1 to Skyler Miller. 1 on and 1 out here in the home half of the first. That's a foul ball. It was off her ankle. That did not look good. And it's 2 and 2. Doesn't feel good either. She's going to have to step that one off. Crunch. Shinburger. I call it a humid day here in Williamson County. Of course, it feels good with the breeze coming into the press box. 3-2 the score. Lady 
Rams trailing the Terriers here from the Heron 3A Regional. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Back at it on Thursday as the Mountford and Rams have the Marion Wildcats. The Mountford and Regional semifinal. 4.15 will be your pregame. 4.30 is your first pitch. Two to the count. Here comes. This one will be toward the right field line. Drifting foul. No chance for Heinzman. It will just be another strike. Mm. Long first inning. 20 minutes long, and we haven't gotten out of the first yet. Two to the count with a runner on, one out here in the bottom of the first. Scarpnell with a 3 2 lead. Here comes on the way. It's in the dirt. Runners go and not going to have a chance. It'll be a full count. Well, Vernon needs to limit this, keep it at 3 2. Not want to give any more up if you don't have to. Count full here. One out and runner in scoring position. This is high. The lead to a walk. So now two aboard for the Terriers for Cheyenne Fulmer. This is one of those situations where you don't feel like you're behind by too much, but you can't afford to give up maybe a five, six, seven spot here in this case. Maybe a slap hitter up in this case will strike one. Fulmer, the catcher, a lefty, has two on and one out here in the bottom half of the first inning of a 3-2 to two ball game. Here comes the pitch. It's going to just about off the hit. Offered. Deal. Offered. Offered the attempt. Therefore, if it hits her, that's still a foul ball. So nothing and two now is the count. Page Bird, the DP on deck for the Terriers, who've taken a 3-2 to two lead in the bottom half of this first inning. The pitch is outside. The runner's thought about going. They're running on a string that time. One ball, two strikes, now the count. One out here from Heron, the 3A softball regional. Winner gets the winner of Heron and Marion on Saturday. As this will be put in play. Fly ball in the right center field, no problem for Rush. She'll make the grab that throws ahead of the runner. Nice to go. Good play by Makai to cut it off in the gap. Number eight hitter up for Carbondale in this inning. Three. So that'll bring in Sage Bird. Two on, two outs here in the bottom of the first. A three to two terrier lead. Lady Rams took a 2-0 lead. Coming into the inning, but it's this. Giving up three runs. Here comes the pitch across the plate. It's not the one. They'll throw behind the runner at first, and they're both going to be safe at second and third. Good base running there by Carbondale. Yep, just moved on up and stolen base. Now base hit scores two. Not sure if throwing behind the runner there was a choice. Whoops. Ground ball to second here, and they'll throw over to first off the bat of Bird. And 4-3 retires the side. It's 3-2 Terriers through one. This is Lady Ram Softball from WIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 16 years, I wrote about the area's great teams. Now I'm part of a great team, the sales team, Schmidt Ford of Salem. Hi folks, it's Mike McManus, and I'm proud to be part of the Schmidt Ford family. Whether it be a new or pre-owned vehicle, let me or any other of our professional sales consultants help you find your next car or truck. You'll be glad you did. So stop by Schmidt Ford of Salem or visit us online at SchmidtFordofSalem.com. Find us on Facebook. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball from WMIX Sports. Welcome back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Zawinski alongside as we head to the top of the second. Lady Rams trail by a score of 3-2. to two. However, they will send up Scoble, Meyer, and Rush here in the top half. Looking to get some more of that magic they had to open up the first inning. They had a 2 nothing lead and then surrendered three runs at the bottom half of the first to trail 3-2 to two now. Of course, this contest is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Five Jefferson County branches, responsive quality service for all of your accounts. Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, welcome back to personal banking. Hard hit off the bat of Scoble, picked up by Williard. She'll fire over the first in time at 6-3 is your first now. Nobody's getting a good, clean rip today. Nobody's getting cheated in the box. Carbonell has 3-2 lead after a 25-minute first inning. 
<laughs> Three runs on four hits for the Terriers. They stranded two in the bottom half of the first. Lady Rams have two runs, two hits, no errors. They've stranded one today. One out, nobody on for Jasmine Hawkins. Huh. Much different lineup than what we were given. Yeah. Or may, I think I know what's happened. It's using, being used with the flex as the 0-1 will be just off of the corner. Make it one ball, one strike to Hawkins. You're probably going to see a different pitcher. Possibly. That too. Quite possibly. In the bottom of the second. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ooh. Off the hands of Hawkins. Yeah. Just underneath her helmet. Didn't look like it caught her, but she appears to be okay. One ball, two strikes to count. Of course, we told you the winner to the regional championship game on Saturday at 11 o'clock. It'll be against the winner of Heron or Mary in that game tomorrow here. As the one two lifted into right field. Shouldn't be a problem. Doesn't even get to the grass. On the skin of the dirt, good grab there by the second baseman. Good ale, and that's the second out. Ball did not match the swing. Big swing by Hawkins. But the ball hey, hey. off the end of the bat didn't travel very far. So it'll be up to Makaya Rush now, the center fielder, two outs, 50 bases. Here in the top of the second, and that had a home run cut to it, but that was blown past Rush for nothing and one. No balls, one strike, two outs, bases empty here in the top of the second. Tries to bunt one, the catcher. Mm. Palmer can't come up with it as it's bunted over her head. Almost had a chance for the out, but now a reprieve here for a rush. In an 0-2 count with two outs and empty bases. Third baseman is down so close she could have shook hands. <laughs> of course, some various doctors now recommending just do the fist bump for the sake of germs as the 0-2 is going to miss off of the play. One ball, two strikes yeah. to rush. Yeah, heard that discussion too much this morning. Really? Mm-hmm. What, was that brought up in some sort of meeting or something? No, it was some sort of... Radio land. Gosh, the one two is going to be on the outside corner for a strike. One, two, three, go the Lady Rams. We're through one and a half. It's three to two, Carbondale. This is Lady Rams Softball from WMIX Sports. Hey, it's Brittany here, and I have a very special guest on the phone with me right now. It's Roy Schmidt from Ford Square, King City Chrysler. Hey, Roy. Hi, Brittany. Roy, over at Ford Square, you have some amazing things going with the Lincoln vehicles. Tell me about that. Yes, we do, Brittany. On the 2013 Lincoln MKZ and the 2000 Lincoln MKX, we sold 13 of these last month, and we're out to do the same this month. And we actually went out and purchased about six or seven more of them from other dealers. The big thing going right now with them is 0% plus you get $5,250 cash back on the Lincoln MKZ, the sedan, and then on the MKX you can get 0% plus $6,250 on the MKX. So it's a great opportunity right now for someone that's looking for a Lincoln. Very nice. Well, Roy, if somebody wants to take advantage of these deals, where can they find you at? We are at 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, and we're open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday and 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. during the week. That's at Ford Square, King City Chrysler. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to WMIX, WMIXSports.com. For the Terriers, it's 9-1-2 and two to up with McKenna Miller, Sam Goodale, and Lauren Butler. Here in the inning. That was a pitch high, pretty wild there from Bria Meyer for ball one to McKenna Miller. All right. Three to two, your score. Lady Rams trailing the Terriers, winning edge, one of our great sponsors. We'll say about them in just a moment. As the... 1 0 is now 2 0 to McKenna Miller. You, know, you want to keep it at 3 2 and don't fall any further behind. Got to do something here. This will be lifted into center field for a base hit. A one hopper. It's going to play Rush out in the outfield. It'll be a single for McKenna Miller. Rush did a good job. That ball looks like it was going to get fired. Knocked it down enough to stop and keep Miller at first with the single. So that will stand in. One on, nobody out. She let off the first with a double. Later came around to score. Or that three-run Carbondale first inning. They lead it three to two. Runner on, and nobody out. The runner's going. A good stop there to keep it in front by Rachel Kirsch. Now an RBI chance presents itself for Goodell. Quite a large assortment of Rams apparel at Winning Edge downtown Mount Vernon at 212 South 9th Street. Find them online at winningedgeusa.com to see what they can customize for your employee team. Make that call to the bullpen, the winning edge for your employee team. 
One and one to Sam Goodell. Doubled her last time and scored. Now sends one into right field. Chasing his Heisman. She'll make the grab. Tagging as Miller. Throw will not be in time on the sack fly. Good base running by Miller. Deep fly. And, of course, the ball was angling kind of toward the right field corner foul territory. And Heisman had to go over and make that catch. And because of momentum carrier that way, Miller is able to get the third rather easily on the tag up. So to bring in Lauren Butler with a runner on third. One out. Looking to add some insurance here, speaking of. Here's some scoreboard updates a little bit later. You can follow us on Twitter to stay up to date at WMIX Sports. I thought I saw where Centralia was on top of Salem, 2 to nothing. That's at the Salem Regional. Ooh. Jam shot to the shortstop off the hop. Fires over first in time, and that'll score a run on the 6 3 ground down. Oh, two outs, and the base is empty. That'll bring in Olivia Clark Kittleson. Terriers take a 4 to 2 lead now. Four runs on five hits. First pitch on the way is going to be high. It's 1 0. Oh. Two outs in the inning. Bases are empty, but Carbondale doubling up the Lady Rams. As Kittleson will turn on one, sitting that down the left field line. Had home run distance, but looks like it is a foul ball. Foul ball. Yep. It was foul ball wrapped around the corner. Carbondale dugout's erupting, but it's not a home run. They can stay in the dugout. It's a foul ball. That's Have fun with it. Yeah. Now, if they could throw a challenge flag in the MLB, but that ball, that ball did not. It wrapped around the pole, but it went in front of the pole before wrapping. That was a foul ball. Easy call. With Danny Zerwinski, I'm Chris Hugo. Quentin Lloyd back at our Malvern studio taking care of business. Mm, taking care of us. Fairfield up 3-1 to one against Sullivan, a sectional game. Nice. As this one will be in the right field for a base hit. So after a long foul ball, responding with a single of two outs. Now brings in Logan Bowlby. So one on and two outs. Carbondale on top by a score of 4-2 to two here. Scoreboard updates presented by Tony Wilt. Your State Farm agent of Mount Vernon. Find him online at TonyWilt.com. Look for the white State Farm keep around town. Give his office a call and get to a better state with State Farm. Two outs to run our board here in the bottom of the second inning as that's going to be a pitch low and inside. The ball that you singled had an RBI or last night. One out of the count. A runner on. Two outs. Here comes. This is outside. Two balls. No strikes to count here to Boldy. Now, plate bouncing around. There's the strike. They're on two and one. You keep it at four two. You don't feel so bad. Kind of limit the damage as you go along here. Try to get back into this one. Here she can do how she can rebound. Meyer with a 2 1 count rolls one in there for a ball. It's 3 and 1 as they throw behind the runner. Not going to have anything there. Hitters count. Three balls, one strike, two outs here for the Terriers in the bottom of the second inning with a 4 to 2 lead. Turns out our issue earlier was my fault, believe it or not. Whoops. I got distracted, sent out the wrong dates. This is 3 1, cork down the left field line. That's going to be foul. It'll make it a full count. Got to work now. If Meyer wants to hang around this game very long, she's going to have to work down the zone. Fell high enough is not going to let her have a ticket to stay out in the circle. Carbondale, when that ball's up like she's throwing it, they're getting some very good rips here. Count is full. Two outs on the board here in the bottom of the second. 4 to 2, Carbondale on top, but that's going to miss outside. A two out walk puts two aboard now for the Terriers, and Williard comes in and grind out six on assists in the fielder's choice her last time. See what she can do with two aboard. Lance Bolt going to make a pitching change. And a right's going to come in after Meyer gave up four runs on five hits. Six hit. She leaves with two runners on. She can be the loser, cannot be the winner at this point. Hawkins is going to go out to right field. We'll see Lauren Heisman check out. Hannah Wright will be your new pitcher. Of course, it's Bria Meyer who's responsible for the runners on the base pass with two outs in the bottom of the stack at 4 2. Carbondale doubling up Mount Vernon here in the early going. For the IHSA Class 3A Girls Softball Regional from Harris. Beautiful facility they have out here. Had both boys and girls regionals last year. 
course, the boys' baseball regional in Mount Vernon this year did hold two track sectionals this year, amongst some other events in IHSA postseason. Boys 3A basketball regional. And now the new Lady Ram pitcher is going to be the junior, Hannah Wright, who, when she comes up, will have a chance to own the school record for single-season hits. Gonna have to first things first. She's gonna have to keep this at four two, and it probably will be on in the circle for the rest of the game. So she's got a big duty coming up, not only to hit, but also to take over on the sir in the circle and do her thing. As Carly Willard will jump in, reached on a fielder's choice her last time at bat. First pitch high, one and up. Runners at first and second for Carbondale with two outs, leading four to two over Mount Vernon. Lady Rams need to find a pitch that'll get him out of the inning. You hope that Hannah Wright will bring it as a 1 0. Could have come high on a rise ball. Two balls, no strikes to Willard with Miller on deck for the Terriers. Looking for their 22nd win of the year and a chance to get back to a regional championship game if they lost last year against the host, Lady Tigers. They'll throw behind the runner again, but nobody covering second, and that's a brilliant face-running move again by the truck. Yep, that's because the shortstop is over covering third because third baseman's in. Mount Vernon throws behind the runner first, and there's nobody to throw to it second. So Carbondale heads up base running. Rio pitch coming. Showed Von pulled back. It's a strike across the corner here to Willard. Right now, the Terriers have two in scoring position, a chance to maybe bust it open here in the bottom half of the second. Here comes. Right down the middle, three and two. Good response by Hannah Wright. Wright, a junior, sister of sophomore. They're both back next year as a full count offering misses high. So another two out long. And an advantageous opportunity for the Carriers. Gas to the fire. Second chance all another of our great Ram sponsors. You can find them on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon, home of the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles priced at $10,000 in one location. Second chance auto proud sponsors of the Mount Vernon Rams for well over 34 years. Two outs, bases loaded here in the bottom of the sack at Terriers. Looking for a good at bat here from Skyler Miller, the left fielder. Pitch on the way from Hannah Wright. Fastball inside. Catches the plate. Nothing in one. Be the seventh Terrier batter of the inning, and remarkably, have not scored a run yet. The 0 1 coming, it's high. The county of itself, a one ball, one strike. Jim Wheeler delivers some instructions. Skyler Miller on deck is Paige Bird, the DP. Bottom of the second, 4 to 2. This one is going to be ripped hard to the shortstop. Wilson fires across the diamond in time. And the Terriers strand the bases loaded. We head to the top of the third, 4 2 Carbondale. This is now for the softball from WIX Sports. Women's health care just got closer to home, right here in Salem. St. Mary's Good Samaritan Women's Health Care and OBGYNs, Dr. Deborah Carson, Dr. Doug Combs, Dr. Jamie Plett, Dr. Elizabeth Bayer Nolan, and Dr. Michael Schifano are seeing patients every Tuesday at the Salem Family Health Center. That means you'll have a full range of OBGYN services close to home, including prenatal and wellness checks, incontinence treatment, and family planning options for when your family's complete. Plus, access to state-of-the-art da Vinci robotic surgery for quicker recovery and less pain after hysterectomy. Ladies, your health is important, so why not get OBGYN care right here, close to home, by St. Mary's Good Samaritan Women's Health Care. Call 1-877-456-2496 to make your appointment. That's 1-877-456-2496. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball from WMIX Sports. The Cardinal strands the bases loaded in the bottom of the second. It's still 4-2. to two. Lady Rams trailing as they will send up the top of the order here in the inning. It'll be Hannah Wright, Rachel Wright, Hannah Carbonaro in the Lady Ram lineup. This is the most successful portion of the lineup. Back to open up the top of the first. You know, Mount Vernon needs some runs. Start out two runs in the first two batters. After that, it's quieted down. In fact, they've been pretty tired five times in a row now in two innings. The Sears appears to have settled. First pitch on the way to Wright is going to be lifted way down the left field line. Shading foul. That is going to be a foul ball. Lance Wolf does not agree. Um, I'm not so certain that one didn't curve around. Oh, well. 
long strike. So Hannah does not have the single season hits record on another home run. On that, yeah, can you can you challenge that? No. Nope. <laughs> that was a moonshot. I see agreement on the other side that it was a moonshot. Yeah, I think that one got beyond the pole. But there's a strike. Lots of paid level, so we do it. They haven't we put a video replay system in here yet, so hopefully not. Eventually they get it. Yeah. Oh, it's on back order. Oh, it's back order. Okay. Nothing in one. The count now to right. She leads off this top of the third and takes a pitch outside. One and one. That will come out of the football budget. I thought that was oh, those sales stats. The other dollars. one turned left early. That one turned left after the pole. One one coming. That is going to miss low and away. Two balls and one strike. Now to Hannah Wright, leading things off at the top of the third. Four to two of Carbondale. Four runs, six hits, no errors. They stranded four or so. And this is a wild pitch off of the plate. Three and one. Lady Rams had two runs on two early base hits back in the first, but since then, the bottom of the order, unable to bring them back home. See what they can do back at the top. 3 1 coming. Rips that one. Fouls it off. Luckily, nothing much doing over there. The count's full. Long strike. Hannah needs to be regrouped. Hit one hard somewhere. 3 1 coming. Ooh, that just misses. So, for now, the record still belongs to Hannah and Jacqueline Flood. And she takes her spot on first base after the leadoff walk. We'll be up to Rachel right now. Tying runs the plate here in the top of the third. Community First Bank of the Heartland has five Jefferson County branches with responsive quality service. All of your accounts, Community First Bank, welcome you back to Personal Bank. A member of FDIC, great pitch by Sears across the outside corner. And it's nothing to want here to Rachel Wright, who walked and scored back in the first. Be a pitch low to even a count of one and one. You can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. Down is one and one to ride. A runner on, nobody out. Drops down above third base side. Catcher and third baseman fight for it. That's going to be a throw that bounces into first. Base hit. Wow. Carbondale might have, you know. Lady Rams, I should say, might have gotten a bit of a break. Yeah, there's no doubt they got a break. And now they're going to have an argument here. And they might say the batter's out here. It wasn't pretty, but it could be a ground out. As... Neither Fulmer nor Golby want to take responsibility of it at first. Nope. Nothing is going to Jim Wheeler's arguing the batter should be out. That's going to go to no avail. The try goes up to, or after, not after two, no score, softball. Their sectional game. Lots of games trying to get in around. The radar tops up with colors. Looks like a paint by numbers. Yeah, it just depends on where you're at. We haven't painted yet. Right now, it looks pretty good to get this in. Well, we're hoping for brush strokes to stay out of the area. 4-2 the score. Lady Rams has the tie-in run on first for Hannah Crub and Arrow. Two on, nobody out. Lady Rams hoping to put up a number here in the top of the third. Maybe get some of these unanswered runs back. Two runs, three hits for Lady Rams. Four runs on six hits for the Terriers. As Carble will stand in against Lindsay Sears. She struck out her last time, but here comes the pitch on the way. Waves and misses the fastball. Not the big swing by Carbo there. Miss. Yes, fastball it was, but it was outside. Video streaming returns in August, presented by Red Lake College. Save thousands in your collegiate education at rlc.edu, where you can find out how. It's a spotted foul. Nothing to tune out of Carbonero. Garner had an RBI double back in the first. She's on deck. She has certainly seen the ball well in her senior year. 50 hits on the season for Hannah Wright. She's on second base. Curtis Runner Morgan is on first. And a nothing and two coming. It's swung and a miss. Mm-hmm. Strikeout for the first uh, out again. Another big strikeout for Sears. Carbo, Garner, and Kerr, who you want up with runners on, and she got the first bullet. Garner came into the day batting 379, probably jumped up to about 381 or so. As the first pitch is going to be lifted down the left field side, and that one's going to sneak wow. out for a home run. So Valerie Garner gets a three-run bomb, and it's five to four, Lady Ram. Hello. Wow. Unbelievable. The power of the Mount Vernon. They need to play more games down here. 
It's 5-4, to four, Mount Vernon, as Garner hits a home run to give Lady Ramsey advantage in the top of the third. Wow. Power display matches the number of home runs that Mount Vernon hit almost last year, too, now. Wow. Ten home runs for the team. That's the second for Garner. That brings in Rachel Kirsch with the bases empty and only one out. Five to four. Lady Rams on top. Five runs on four hits. But it might be the Garner home run that stings the loudest here with one out in the top of the third. Well, I don't know. That'll get you back into some momentum. Kirsch shows fun. Now I've picked the back foot up and get it out of the way. It's one and oh as that comes inside. That's all right. First pitch home run. Fairfield now leads Sullivan 4-2 in softball. The 1-0 coming. Route 15 corridor doing pretty well over in 1A and 2A with Wayne City and Fairfield and Edwards County on oh. sectional. Wayne City or Edwards County will advance. Yeah. 2-0 coming. Looks like it's low. Well, there's you know, rattle to me. After that, I think so. Yeah, you're giving up two bombs to left field. Ball carries out here at the friendly confines. And that was another bomb hit, so she looks rattled. She's not probably used to being touched up like this much this year. Second chance auto around 142 East in Malvern, and you're home for the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles, priced under $10,000 in one location. Second chance auto proud sponsors of the Rams and only Rams. They've been around for over 34 years. Supporting Mount Vernon Athletics every step of the way. Five to four, Lady Rams on top after the three-run homer by... Mallory Garner. She's now two for two with four runs batted in today. That's a pretty good day at the yard. What is the story over here with the ball? I don't know. Good, home, bad, home and run ball. Do something. Maybe a home run ball, I guess. Could have been. That might be it. Yeah. Patience. They're going out of style. That's a strike. I mean, Bodden's getting ready to switch over to Wilson, so who cares? Exactly. Right. If, one, if, I golf, if I had the golf game of the Heron AD, I'd just give softballs out to everybody. <laughs> 3-1 coming. Kirsch going to lift this one up right side. On the run is McKenna Miller to make the grab near the foul line. And that will be the second out with nobody on. Brings in Lauren Wilson, who struck out her last time. Oh, they may be Callaway softballs from what I've seen over here. I'm not sure. Could be. But are they? Probably not. Of course, next year they'll have to use them as Bob and the X outs. Mm-hmm. Two outs, Wilson stands in, takes the first pitch ball low. Over just over the plate. One ball, no strikes. Two outs, nobody on top of the third. Lady Rams have scored three more to take a 5-4 to four lead. Looking for a regional championship date here on Saturday as the pitch comes to the outside corner. Even to count at 1-1 one one with Scoble on deck. Definitely a shock. Annie's lead Salem 4 nothing going to the bottom of the fourth. 1-1 one, one the count. Here comes the pitch on the way. Hard hit ground ball to short. Nice pick up off the hop to throw out Wilson at first. So 6-3 retires the side, but the Lady Rams take a 5-4 lead. This is Malford and Softball from WIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high-interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, one will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon. We have a good selection of 2013 ATS, CTS, and XTSs that we have to move, and right now is a great time to purchase because you get the year-end incentives. The closeouts that we're doing on these cars is remarkable, and the savings is there. So right now we're making them a very affordable, and I can't say enough about the product. It is fantastic. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball. Welcome back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. As we head to the bottom of the third inning, 5-4 to four the score. Lady Rams on top after a Mallory Garner three-run home run. As Bird leads things off here in the home half for the Terriers. Takes a first pitch strike from Hannah Wright. Now if you're Lance Bolton, the Lady Rams, D.C., you like where you're at. You have Hannah Wright on the hill, or in the circle, I should say. 
keep this lead. Is this a pinch hitter? My apologies. It's popped up. Foul. Behind us. Foul. That is Tara Shirley. Heading here in the third. Oh, I had a way. Yep. I was, like, looking at numbers and didn't match. That's why I was... I had two, so I went down next on the list. <laughs> Thinking my book was messed you know. up. Fouled off nothing in two. So this would be for Fulmer, the catcher. Wondered about that. No balls, two strikes. Leading things off here in the inning. It's a ground ball to the shortstop. Wilson picks it up, has time, fires across. Not inside. Infield hit. Shirley with speed. Just took a little long on the transition, and it cost the Lady Rams. Carbondale gets the base hit. Now it's Paige Bird with one on and nobody out. Tying run on first base for Carbondale. Your first bank of the Heartland has five Jefferson County branches and response to quality service for all of your accounts. But the Bird first to say, welcome back to personal bank. Bird is going back to the dugout. Now she's going to be hit for by Tasha Dedeck. Tasha Dedeck are going to make an appearance today. I would assume. Yep. All numero quattro. Hey. So Dedeck will bat for Bird. With one on and nobody out at the bottom of this third inning. Try to get this tying run home. Five to four. Lady Rams on top. Five runs, four hits. Terriers have four on seven. Pretty good game. It is. A lot like last year. Hopefully without the rain in the middle as this will see the runner go down the second on a pitch that was blocked by the catcher. Count is 1-0 here to D-Decker, but it's an RBI chance. Man, they should have the regionals here every year. We like to play. I love it. They should have every I people out of trouble. Now. I asked before the game if it was a five-year deal as we wait the 1-0. This is tied 2-0 now to D-Decker. Kidda Miller in the on-deck circle for the Terriers. Five to four, your score, Lady Rams on top. First time they left Carbondale this season. This is a bunt drop down, third base side. Garner picks it up out of the glove. Safe at first, and that'll be an infield single. Fun hit again. Carbondale putting little ball to work. Huh. Follow us on Twitter, at WYX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwanski. Quentin Lloyd back at the mound for the studio. Well past the top of the 5 o'clock hour. As Bunch shown by Miller with the splash. He'll pull back and swing and miss. Nothing and one to count to Miller. Ken and Miller at the bottom of the order here for the Terriers. Nothing and one. Foul back now to become nothing and two. Well, strikeout here would be huge. Massive for the Mount Vernon side of things. Winner comes back at Saturday, on Saturday, at 11. It's the winner of the number two, number three battle between Heron and Marion. Here it comes. Hard hit ground ball. Throw over to first base and gets away from Carbonell. One run comes in. Here's Decker to score. Coming around all the way to third base on the air. Yep. It's going to be McKenna Miller, and Carbondale takes a 6-5 lead. Uh, Eagle 3 led the two unearned runs. That was a case where the pitcher tried to look the runner back to third. Runner took off. The first baseman was focused on the runner and not the ball. And the error allows two runs to come in. And that one will hurt the Lady Rams. Now time will be called as we'll have a Circular conference is Hannah Wright's going to tell him, don't worry about it. We'll get it back. Yep. See if they do. So anyway, what's your State Farm agent in Mount Vernon? Walk in, call in, or click in like a good neighbor. State Farm will be there. Tony Wilt brings you our scoreboard updates all season long. Here comes the first pitch on the way. We're back at the good day up the top of the order. Yep, swings and misses. It's nothing to want. They come down, maybe hits last. Carbondale hits last. Maybe you got to score a bunch of runs to get a lead here, and this was very well. Ground ball, third base side. Garner, one hopper, fires across the first. 5-3 is an RBI ground out. Yep, unearned runs, but ground out works for the first out of the inning. Carbondale answers back. 7-5, Terriers, as Butler stands in with the bases empty and one out. That's ball low misses. 1-0 here to Butler. Olivia Clark-Kittleson in the on-deck circle. She's 2-for-2 two two today. 
as the Terriers have taken a bite out of life on the Eddie Rams side. Quite a few from Carbondale made the track over. Can't really see the Mount Vernon side from here. There you go. This one is going to be lifted in the center, and Rush has to take a step back and makes a snow cone grab and straightaway center off the bat of Butler. There's your second out. She doesn't get that. Then it's trouble, trouble. That gets over her head. That's off the SIU side if she doesn't come up with it. Now with two outs, it'll be Olivia Clark Kittleson, the bat. She doubled and scored. That was back in the first. She singled and was stranded on third and second. Now pops one up the silo. Foul territory for the catcher. Not going to be able to get to it, and that'll be strike one. Ball went up. Too much wind. Nobody wanted to help the catcher out. Probably somebody else should have maybe called her off on that. Three runs in the first. to run in the second. Now three in the third for Carbondale. They lead seven to five here in the bottom half of this third inning. Two outs in the base is empty for Olivia Clark Kittleson, the center fielder. Nothing and one the count. Looking to keep the inning going here for Carbondale. They've scored three times. All the runs unearned. Is this is going to come up high? It'll be one ball, one strike. Wayne Edge is one of our great sponsors. See how they can equip your employee team in style. See what all they can customize for you at winningedgeusa.com or stop by and see them downtown Mount Vernon. Garner, a great play off the grounder. Fires over to first. 5-3 retires the side. It's 7-5 Carbondale through 3. This is Lady Ram Softball from WMIX Sports. Qualifications and rules apply. See institution for details. Bill, where are we going? We're trying to find my ATM. We just passed an ATM. But that's not my ATM. I lose four bucks if it's not my ATM. Make any ATM your ATM. Introducing free Casasa checking with monthly rewards like cash and ATM fees back in your pocket. Visit trycasasa.com. K-A-S-A-S-A. Casasa is carried locally at People's National Bank or online at peoplesnationalbank.com. Member FDIC. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt. I want to thank Mount Vernon and the surrounding area for continuing to support us over the past five years. If you have never sat down with someone to go over your insurance program, let me invite you into our office. Let us show you what working with the industry leader, represented by a local agent, can do for you. I'm located just off 42nd Street. You can reach our office 24 hours a day at 242-1421 or on the web at TonyWilt.com. Thanks again, and go Rams. Back to Mount Vernon Lady Rams softball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Bottom of the order due up for Scoble, Meyer, and Rush, or at least Meyer's spot, 7-8-9. Here for the Lady Rams, we'll be calling Scoble to lead things off at the fourth. Even numbered innings thus far with a small sample size, not kind to the Lady Rams. They've scored two in the first, three in the third, but trailed 7-5 as Scoble fouls one back, nothing in one. Well... 12 runs, 12 hits, and three innings of play for everybody. Not a bad way to go. Not at all. 7-5 to five the score. Seven runs, eight hits for the Terriers. Five runs, four hits for the Lady Rams. One error. This is going to come up and in on Scoble. Count as one ball and one strike. Need to get on base. Any means possible. Need to find something. Base runners out of the pocket. This is going to be across the plate, outer half. One ball, two strikes to Scoble. Pockets in the on deck circle for the Lady Rams. One two pitch on the way. Misses low. Two balls, two strikes. Colleen Scoble. Winner gets the winner of Heron and Marion on Saturday. That'll be at 11 o'clock. The other semifinal here tomorrow at 4.30 is this. It's going to be a foul ball towards the first base dugout. Stays 2-2. Two and two. Need to get runners on by any way you can. Got to get something going here. 12 runs in the first three innings tells you it's not going to stay this way very long, or at least it should. It's always bank with your hometown team at Community First Bank of the Heartland. The market leader in Jefferson County with five Jefferson County branches of Mountford and Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Ask about one checking as the 2-2 two ventures low and away. It'll be a full count now to scribble. Hawkins on deck, followed by Rush here in the Lady Ram half of the fourth. This may think things are looking good for the Lady Rams. Something happens. The very following half inning is this the hard hit ground ball is short. No problem. Nice scoop and a throw over to first is in time as it's 6-3 as Willard throws out Scoble. Tough play. Had to come in, charge on it, pick it up off the short hop. Two hops would have been safe. 
So Hawkins will that here. Popped out the second or last time, and Jasmine has a chance to maybe start something to the top of the fourth, trailing seven to five. Terriers the number one seed in this regional with a twenty one and six record as Hawkins is gonna send one just foul outside the back. Up in the walk. Now Vernon's been set down in order of the second inning. Odd numbered innings have been there inning. Oh one Calvin, and that's gonna miss low and away. One ball, one strike, Jasmine Hawkins. Makaya Rush on deck, followed by Hannah Wright here in the fourth. In the top of the order, coming up with most of the production for Mount Vernon here in the game. It's a 1-1. It's going to be in the center field, but right at Clark Tillson. There's your second out. Hit hard. Can't fault that swing. Terriers led most of the regional championship game last year, and then Aaron was able to battle back for the title. Of course, the sectional championship game, if I'm not mistaken, is up at Centralia and Mattoon, I believe, up at Salem last year. It's nothing to want. Fouled off by Rush to start off the at-bat. Two outs, nobody on here in the fourth. Try to lead Galatia 3-1 after three at Cobden. Centralia up 6 nothing. Annie's are on Salem in the third. Inside swing, turned on it, did Rush, but it's a hard-hit ground ball over the third. No problem for Bowlby. She fires the first. One, two, three, go the Lady Rams here in the fourth. We head to the bottom half, 7 to 5, Carbondale. This is Lady Rams Softball from WMIX Sports. How can we keep the people we love safe and secure in their own home? Let the Medicine Shop's home medical equipment team help you with all your mobility and specialty product needs. They provide mobility products like motorized scooters, wheelchairs, and home stair lifts. The Medicine Shop's expertly trained staff can also provide car and van lift installations, and they offer a full-service repair facility for medical equipment, whether you purchased it from them or somewhere else. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black. We service a 60-mile radius area. It's a pretty wide area. We service uh, orders from several area hospitals, and we have the staff in place that really sets us apart. We have three respiratory therapists and two seating specialists uh, to help with uh, seating on wheelchair and uh, power chair needs. And we just feel that we have the staff and the warehousing and the facilities in place to really set us apart from any of our competitors in the area. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Find Vernon. Find us on Facebook. This is Mount Vernon Lady Ram Softball from WMIX Sports. We head to the bottom of the fourth. It'll be Baldy, Willard, and Miller do up for the Terriers. Four, five, and six in the Carbondale lineup. As they lead them out for the Lady Rams by a score of 7-5. Seven, seven runs, eight hits for Carbondale. Hannah Ryan hoping for a 1-2-3 inning. She'll fire a first pitch low for ball one. Watching a young man out in the outfield throw a ball off that wall out there with that brick that sticks out different spots. He's struggling trying to get the hops off of it. 1-0 coming. That one's come back, Eddie. One ball, one strike. Caught the outside corner here to Logan Bowlby. Third baseman leads things off. Had an RBI single bag in the first. Now stands in with the bases empty. Drops a bunt down that first base side, and that'll be an easy infield single. Carbondale's able to get those down. Man, they're good at getting those bunts. I'll bring in Willard, who walked back in the second, but was stranded on first base. Part of the bases loaded that were stranded back in the second for the Terriers. So now Willard will stand in. One on and nobody out. Shows bunt pulls back and now pops this up left side. Kirsch will call everybody off and make the grab for the first down. Say what? People are flying the ball out to the outfield here today. Friendly College has over 100 degree and certificate programs from which to choose. Log on to rlc.edu to find out which is right for you. They power our video streaming, which we can now say returns in August. That's been exercise. It's all said and done. You can find the archive at wixsports.com. Bunt down the first base side again, and that is trouble again. Another infield bunt single for the Terriers. Slow turn, yields a slow throw. And the speedy base runner safe is Skyler Miller. Vernon's not doing himself any favors trying to quickly get in when the bat is shown to be a bunt. Carbondale setting themselves up for another beginning. They've scored in every inning so far. This will be Fulmer to bat. The spot in the order is one for two. Palmer flew out to center her first time. 
Now it's two on and only one out on the floor. It's Carmel with Mads some more runs to their two-run lead. This is going to be a hard hit. Good reaction by Hannah Wright. It is going to score a run as Bowlby's going to come in. Mm. So that one could have been dangerous for Hannah Wright. Got her hands up just in time and stays safe. It's 8-5 to five Carmel yeah. on the RBI base hit. Youth reactions of youth. It's one of those count your blessings. She got her glove up. Two on and one out. As we're back to Paige Bird in the lineup. Oh, the pitch hitters last and seem to have more success than the original batters. Eight runs, 11 hits for the Terriers, no errors. They've stranded four today. But the Rams have five runs on four hits. They do have an error. Jim Wheeler, Paige Bird, and Ted Knapp talking things over just up the third baseline. Any first bank of the heartland. How about that one checking, free checking with high-yield interest? Ask them about any of their five Jefferson County branches, Malford and Dix, Woodlawn, and Ida. Welcome back to Personal Banking. One means more, community first. Eight to five, the score here, two on and only one out. Bottom of the fourth inning. I know. Like running up the down escalator. When you get back into it or get a lead, here comes Carpenter. But one ball, no strikes to count for Paige Bird. Two on, one out. Here comes from right. Left high, and this will be a check swing in the right field. Hawkins is on the run. She'll make the play. Runner's going to attack. Nice throw, and that could be a gun down at third. It is. Hawkins makes the grab. Doesn't even take a step. Threw off for back foot. Turner flies the tag, and we head to the top of the fifth, where it's 8-5 Carbondale. This is Lady Rams Softball from WIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon. Truck wars are getting intense, and Chevrolet's right there. We have the better product, and we have really the better value with the incentives that we have on the new 2014 Silverado. It's the longest-lasting, hardest-working truck on the market. You need to come in and test drive one because if you compare it to the Ford or Dodge or Toyota, the Silverado wins hands down. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. WMIX Sports is your home for the Mount Vernon Lady Rams. Powered by Community First Bank. Welcome back to Heron, the IHSA Class 3A Girls Softball Regional Semifinal between the Lady Rams and the Carbondale Terriers. Right now the Terriers have an 8-5 to five lead as we see the top of the order for Mount Vernon here in the 5th. And if the pass is any indicator, history could repeat itself here as the top of the order has yielded the most runs. They've yielded all five Lady Ram runs. Here this afternoon, Hannah Wright just a hit away from the single season hit record. Thought she had a home run earlier. Had a home run in the first lead off the game, but then thought she had another home run in the third, but it was called foul. Then took a walk. So the pitch is on the way. Here it comes. The bat will get away on the pitch. One and oh. It's Goodale now, the current hill pitcher. Here comes the 1-0. This one is going to be lifted deep Maybe. in the center field, and that's gone. And your new single-season hit queen is Hannah Rice. It's her 51st hit of the year on a deep five in the center field, and that makes it 8-6. to six. Well, Second home run of the day. Wow. No doubt about that one, where that one's going to land. Hello. Yeah. Wow. That was, that was long. Long fly ball to make it 8-6, to six, and that'll bring in Rachel right if the base is empty and nobody out. She's got a good piece of that one. Yeah. But now she has the all-time single-season hits record in Mount Vernon Township High School, supplanting the 2012 record by Jacqueline Flood. The pitch is going to come outside 1-0 now to Rachel Wright. 
Well, it's been the odd innings. Every Mount Vernon's been able to get stuff done in the odd innings. Even innings haven't been much. Well, they haven't. As Ryan will take a pitch across the outer half, and it's one and one. Carbonaro on deck for the Lady Rams. Where Skylar Miller moved into play second. See if you notice any other changes defensively for the Terriers. High swing, and it's Tomahawk over to the third baseman. No problem for Bolby. 5-3 is the first down. No. <laughs> if Carbonaro get around the top two hitters, that scored all in five, uh, five of the six Mount Vernon runs. We'll see what Carpenero can do. She's over two today, but here in the top of the fifth, Lady Rams trail by a pair of runs with only one out. Story is now Hannah Wright's two home runs today. And this one will be hard hit up the middle. That's a one out single for Hannah Carpenero, who's now wow. one for three. Yeah. Mount Vernon and Lance Fold has to be believing. They're not out of this game by any stretch of the imagination. And they are hitting the ball. And I think Sears again is rattled by this. Now you can't help but wonder if Garner and Wright are battling for our player of the game award. Garner had a three run bomb earlier, but she has four runs bad at the end of the day. Wright has two home runs, but only two RBI. Let's see what Garner can do maybe to tie it up. Is this is going to miss outside? 1 0. What you can do, I can do better. Garner's two for two with a home run, as I said, four runs bad at the end, two runs. And a Wright actually has three runs scored today off of two home runs and a walk. She missed outside the Mallory 2 0. So for me, I probably wouldn't give her much to hit, but again, that's me. Brilliant softball mind, I am not, as we await the 2 0 pitch to Garner. One on, one out, top of the fifth, Lady Rams trail 8 to 6, and that's going to be a strike on the outside corner, 2 and 1 to Mallory. She can wait for her pitch here. Oh, yeah. So five home runs now in the year for Hannah Wright, two for Mallory Garner. Team as a whole, I think, up to 11. Ooh, just off the end of the bat and foul. It's two balls, two strikes. That's a deep home run. Friendly confine. The ball's carrying today, I'm telling you. Ball carrying a little farther today. Not only the yellow softball, but the dimpled one as well. It carried a little bit today. Two to the count, a runner on, one out. Garner is going to get just underneath it. Popped up, shortstop. Willard will make the grab. And there's your second out. Did a couple weeks ago for the hole in one, but it carried a lot today, too. This will bring in Rachel Wright, or, or Kirsch, rather. Mm. My apologies. Kirsch is 0 for 2 today, too, probably. Tying runs the plate for the Lady Rams. They trail 8 to 6 here in the top of the fifth, a two out runner on scenario. This is going to bounce in the dirt for ball one to Kirsch, 1 0. A couple more up here. I might know the left hand in. My fielder is. Here comes the 1 0. Low and away, two balls, no strikes to Kirsch. Wilson on deck for Mount Vernon. They trail 8 to 6. Six runs, six hits, one error. Carmel has eight runs, only 11 hits. I believe have stranded four. Pitch to Kirsch. Comes up the ladder, and now it is 3 0. Oh. Not sure she might pitch around Kirsch a little bit here. Well, if you get by the first five spots in the order, the bottom of the order doesn't have a hit. Bottom five spot it does not have a hit. That's a goose egg that needs cracked. Three one comes across the or three zero comes across the plate. It's three and one. Good day. I'll try and get some things settled here. The three one comes up high, and that's going to be a two out walk to Kirsch and bring in Lauren Wilson, who's due. I think if Mount Vernon is going to win this one in the next couple few innings, obviously the bottom of the order is going to have to do something, and here comes a sub. Little? Casey Little. They're batting here. Let's see what Little can do. Maybe a little luck will help the Rams here. Two on, two out in the fifth. Hannah Wright let off the inning with a home run. Surprise, surprise. That has a single-season hit record. There's a lot of good players that have gone through recently. Oh, they yeah. have that record. That ball done gone down yet? I'm oh, still hanging up in the jet stream with West Mason while we're back at that. They strike on the inside corner, nothing to one here to Casey Little, pinch hitting for Lauren Wilson. The toughest job doing baseball and softball fit all day, didn't have to come in and try to hit. Yeah. Never easy. Let's see how she reacts. Nothing to one. Good hell the pitch on the way. Ooh, chased and missed. Throw behind the runner at first, nothing doing over there. Nothing and two now the count. Second chance auto, one of our great sponsors. 
No fancy sales, convince your son of steals, make great financing for all, as well as the largest selection of free owns, priced under ten grand at Second Chance Auto. About 142 East in Mount Vernon. Another chance now for Casey Little took one high, it's mm-hmm. one of two. I can see if one grooved here, new pitcher. Groove one in here. One ball, two strikes to aboard, two out. Going to come inside and miss. It'll be two balls, two take. strikes, now to a little. Good take. That's a tough pitch to lay off of. Home plate umpire is going to dust the dirt off. Huh. Going Bucks owner, owner gives arena employees $500 each. Bonus. Nice. Nice for that person. Two balls, two strikes to count, two aboard for the bloody ramps. Little swings and changes. Misses. That'll take care of things here in the fifth. Through four and a half, it's eight to six Carbondale. This is Lady Ram Softball from WIX Sports. Qualifications and rules apply. See institution for details. Hi, I saw your ad for a checking account that earns interest on my money. Oh, yes, that's our plutonium account, and it requires $50,000 to open. What? How am I supposed to grow my money when I can't even afford to open the account? Introducing Casasa. Free checking, where even the smallest balance earns high yields, plus refunds on ATM fees nationwide. Try Kasasa.com. K-A-S-A-S-A. Kasasa is carried locally at People's National Bank or online at peoplesnationalbank.com. Member FDIC. You need a great quality new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance Auto has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over 34 years. Honest, fair deals. Ain't nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties and bank rate financing for all. That's the only way Second Chance Auto will do business. They're receiving new vehicles every day. So be sure to stop by and find out how you can save thousands on the total cost of your vehicle, helping people get out a great dependable vehicle for over 34 years. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. WMIX Sports is your home for the Mount Vernon Lady Rams. Powered by Community First Bank. Bottom of the fifth we go. It's 8-6. to six. Carbondale on top. They will send, I believe, 9-1-2 and two with McKenna Miller leading things off in the home half of the fifth. Back to the IHSA Class 3A Girls Softball Regional here from Heron. Glad to be with you in Williamson County. For second straight year, hopefully two of five. What am I coming here every year for the Oh, region? no, I'd go for it. As long as something doesn't happen that sends us north, if they were to have it every year. Mass Act to 3A or something could haunt that, as this would be fouled back by McKenna Miller. I could come here every year. I could. I could come here... Once a year for baseball, basketball, every other year for yeah. football, the South 7 thing, whatever yeah. happened again. Is it's, yeah. One you know, one. Heron, that would be a good move for Heron. That'd help us out. I love Heron. Back yeah, that'd be good. the South 7. Yep. I would know, love like, to join up. They might disagree slightly as the 1-1 one, one comes up. <laughs> up the ladder a little bit, 2-1. and one. We can't help but try. Yeah. Of course. Yeah we, yeah, we come down here every other year. We come down here all the time. Oh, yeah. Live here is the 2-1 back. Two and two. Softball kind well, of here's the thing. thing. Yeah. For any new facility that may or may not happen, you can just come play down here because the colors are the same. Yeah. Just cover it up with a Mount Vernon. <laughs> yeah. As we wait to two and two, swung and a miss. Oh, fouled off. My apologies. We got sidetracked. Yeah, that happened. Centralia softball beat Salem today, eight nothing. Collinsville baseball loses to East, 11-1. Two two going to be lifted in the right center field. They're going to have to call each other off out there in the outfield. <laughs> and now they both have it. Finally, is that an F eight nine? That's yes, it is. That's an F eight nine. No, I didn't. Wow. We actually came up with it. Well, when you have do that, gloves, they got enough acreage to cover a gap. So that's one out. Car- Mount Vernon needs a goose egg. Carbondale scored in all four innings, three one three one. Mount Vernon needs to get them a goose egg. They'll not chase in the pitch high. It's 1-0. Oh. One ball, no strikes, nobody on, one out. This is going to be a ground ball just mm-hmm. underneath the glove of the third baseman in the left field. Expect to the 5-3 that time, well, as good as Mallory is at third. Oh, you come to expect it. Yeah, it's habitual after a while. Hmm. So now one out, and that'll bring in Lawrence Butler. Well, there's actually one for three with an RBI and a run scored as the first pitch is high. One and oh. Beauty First Bank of the Heartland has one checking. One means more at Beauty First Bank. Find out what it means at ConfirstBank.net or stop by any of their five Jefferson County branches as the one oh pitch comes. Catches the outside corner. It's one and one. 
One out, one on. Boy, one does need more here in the fifth. Lift it up in the center. Rush on the run. It'll be the second base. The oh, Lord to come away with it. I have an idea. You yeah. see, back in the Little League and leagues like that, they tell you, hey, call for the call to the call. They're not doing that whatsoever. It's almost led to back-to-back collisions on potential outs. Well, center fielder is captain. Now fielders will run off. Shortstop is captain over the second baseman. Center fielder runs everybody out as she yells. Got to say something. Two outs now. Runner on. is First pitch to Clark Hiddleston is high. I want to know. Time is called by Kim Wheeler. Maybe we're going to have a change or a pinch hitter or courtesy oh, runner, too. Even better. Thank you, producer. This will be Alex Jackson on the courtesy run for the pitcher, Goodell. It's, it's your baby. I wonder if it's Alex, Alexandra, Alexandria. All I know is there are 14 any? runs and 18 hits. There you go. They're almost five innings. Not a typical softball. Probably going the other side of Williamson County. They see about a two to one game between Pinkies on Carterville. Should be getting started if not yeah. already. I'd love to see Wade Thomas on a rake. One <laughs> zero coming. It's going to be high again. Two balls, no strikes to Olivia Clark Kittleson. Ground out the third or last time. I knew it couldn't rain here two years in a row. Oh. Two zero coming. Ooh, cross the plate, two balls and a strike here to the center fielder, Clark Kittleson. Tony Wilt is your State Farm agent in Mount Vernon. Find him on the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower and get you a better state with State Farm. This is what it's now. Get you a better state. Right, down the highway. Do do, road. <laughs> yeah. Out ball retrieval, 50 cents a pop today. Dime. That was 30 years ago. 2-2. Two, two. It's going to be lifted foul, first base side. A nice play made by Charlie Verhyen. So she'll make the grab, and Lady Rams get that goose egg as we head to the top of the 6 till 8 6 Carbondale. This is Lady Rams softball from WIX. Raise your hand if you're tired of showing up for a service appointment only to sit around a waiting room. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer at King City Chrysler Center. Our express lane fast oil changes and more provide quick, convenient service with no appointment needed. Our specialists are on hand to wait on you with lanes dedicated just for your oil changes, tire rotation, brake inspections, batteries, bulbs, wiper blades, air filter replacements, and more. We will also perform complimentary vehicle inspection with every oil change. We work around your schedule, open weekdays from 7.30 until 5 and Saturdays from 8 a.m. until noon. See Express Lane Fast Oil Changes and more for all of your service needs, and we will get you back on the road quick. We're located at King City Crisis Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Just another reason you can count on us. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. It's about in the order to lead things off. You're in the top half of the six. It'll be Scoble to start, and she'll take one outside, one and all. So this part of the order combined 0 for 6, having let off the even-numbered innings. Mm-hmm. Kind of odd. Outside to Scoble, 2-2. Two and two. It's her first look against Sam Goodell. Well, Lane, the senior DP today, got a few starts last couple of games. Takes it low, three balls, no strikes. Is a hitter's count to lead off the six. Make her throw strikes. Rio pitch on the way, and that's going to be high. It'll be a leadoff walk to Colleen Scoble. So finally, Bob the order has its first base runner, and this will bring in Jasmine Hawkins. I see a pinch runner, I have a feeling. Of course, that'd be true or something. Huh? I'll be right. Here it comes. Dun, 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 dun. It is Alexa Stewart. 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 That makes sense. She has the ability to play all positions. Softball. Huh. But definitely also your libero in volleyball. Yeah. You know? Alexa Stewart in at first to run. Got to bring in Jasmine Hawkins. Eight to six, your score. Tying run at the plate for the Lady Rams. No outs here in the top of the sixth. 
Now, Coach Wheeler's going to come out and visit the mound. Let's start calling you. So we'll talk some things over. Visit the mound is presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy at 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. As we're going to mm-hmm. see a change. As we, I think we go back to Lindsay Sears. She can get the fade. Yeah, we see this happen once yep. already this year. Yep. Hannah Wright got pulled, had the win, but then got put back in to get the save. And as a reward, became the first pitcher in Mount Vernon Township High School history to get the win and a save in the same game. There you go. A lot of things set by Hannah Wright this year. By the time it's all said and done, it's going to be a record book that you're going to see a lot of Hannah Wright, a lot of Lexi Fermines, a lot of Kenzie Tate in the offensive records for the Lady Rams. A lot of records. Yep. Yeah. 8-6 the score is some warm-up tosses for Carbondale starter slash reliever Lindsey Sears, also better known to use the flex. Community First Bank of the Heartland, welcome back to Personal Banking. Your community, your choice, your bank. Friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back well, to Personal Bank. I don't think I've quite seen this before. Well, we have. I mean, this is, in high school, college, you can see something like this one in the state. Got to keep it Got to keep it going first. Mm-hmm. One on, tying her at the plate, and nobody out for Hawkins. She'll take a pitch across the outer half, and it's nothing to watch. Mount Vernon needs something out of the bottom five spots in the order. So far, no hits, and only one person has re- two people have reached base. One on, a miss. It's nothing to do. Mount Vernon's been very competitive today. Bob and the order is still combined 0 for 6 with a walk. Go to pitch, outer corner, called third strike, and there's your first down of the inning to bring in Micaiah Rush. Where Rush needs to get a hit. Well, you turn it over and get to the top of the order some way, somehow. Winner will get the winner of Heron and Marion on Saturday at 11. Woohoo! Home run swing, but empty results. He swung on a miss, nothing in one. One out, one on here in the sixth. Lady Rams trail eight to six. Carbondale looking for another appearance in a regional title game as the 0-1 counts. Swung on a miss, nothing in two. Lady Rams have not made a regional title game appearance since 2011. I thought it's been that long ago. Three years. There for sectional final. Lost to Civic Memorial in the sectional championship game at Centralia. It's Nothing and two, one and two now, I should say. Is that Miss Florida Rush? Trico leads Glacier Thompsonville seven to one now in the fourth at top and sectional. One, two, missed. Well, two strikes. I would have tried to frame that a little bit longer if I was a catcher. Yeah, she needed to hold that just a little longer. She kind of pulled it back. She returned it back to the pitcher into a ball. on the pitcher, I thought, right back there again. Oh, yeah. Tried to, just missed. Yeah, just missed. Didn't hit the same spot. Count is full. One on and one out here at the top of the sixth. Lady Rams need base runners. The center right is in the on next circle. Here comes the full count offering. That is hard hit, but right in the middle of Bowlby. They'll double off the runner off wow. the first. And that'll take care of the Lady Rams here in the sixth. We'll be at the top of the order due up in the last chance. Seventh and eight to six. Carbondale This is Lady Rams softball from WYX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high-interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. Has bad credit or lack of credit kept you from buying a vehicle? It won't at Automart of Salem. Automart of Salem is your buy here, pay here headquarters. All credit applications are accepted, regardless of your credit history. We take pride in our selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Each vehicle is inspected by our experienced service department before it makes the lot, something that is not done at many other buy here, pay here dealerships. This is manager Amy Thompson. I encourage you to come see me today. I will not allow your credit history to stop you from getting behind the wheel of a pre-owned quality vehicle. Come see me at Automart, located next to Schmidt. Ford and Salem. Find us on Facebook. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball from WMIX Sports. Welcome back. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Involvey, Willard, and Miller. 
four, five, and six in the Terrier lineup. Lady Rams got a goose egg out of the Terriers back in the bottom of the fifth. Open for similar results here in the sixth. It's going to be low and inside to Logan Bowlby leading things off. It's one and all. Need it. Another goose egg. And then take your chances at the top of the order if you're Mount Vernon. How interesting this top of the order shows up. Give me a strike on the outside corner now to Bowlby, one and one. She is actually one or two for two today. RBI single, a single to run scored, and then a walk and stranded. And now this one is lifted the left field line. Foul. It's one and two. Kind of off the end of the bat there that time. Didn't that go foul. anywhere. Knuckled. You can save thousands of dollars on your collegiate education at Lindley College. See how at rlc.edu and apply online while you're there. They present our video streaming. It returns come this fall. The Mount Vernon Rams and Taylorville Tornadoes, week one of the football season. As the one two is going to be popped up, foul territory right will give chase. Rachel will make the grab for the first out. Good catch. That helps out when you get an out like that. A good pitcher's pitch. So one out and nobody on. That brings in Carly Willard. Ends one into center, but right there, Makaya rushed to make the grab. So just like that, two Carbondale outs for Skylar Miller, who is one for two today. She's walked and single. Last chance, seventh for the Lady Rams will feature the top of the order, right, right. Carbonero. That'll come up high. Want to know? Top the order up to start the seventh for Lady Rams. Top the order is let off all of the odd numbered innings. Oddly enough, how that works. One one. This is low. Two balls. No strikes to Miller. Can he'll afford a hiccup here if you're the Lady Rams. Bottom of the six, eight to six. Carbonell up two runs. Eight with a regional championship game on the line. A little fastball pass. And alerts two and one. So the Annies are back in a regional title game at Salem. They'll get the winner of Modern Day and Effingham, I believe it is. As the two one, mm. ooh, going to come up and just miss three and one. Scoreboard updates, of course, presented by Tony Wiltshire, State Farm agent. Walk in, call in, or click in, and like a good neighbor, State Farm will be there. Get to a better state with your State Farm agent, Tony Will. 3-1 pitch, two outs. Popped up, right field side. Carbonero gives chase into the Terrier dugout. 3-2, and two, caps full. Hit strike here. She needs that out pitch through the Lady Rams again into the top of the seventh. A chance to steal a victory and upset these Carbonero Terriers if you can make something happen at the top of the inning. Then how big with the bottom half of the seventh beat? Here it comes. Swung and a miss, and that will take care of the Terriers here in the sixth. Another goose egg on the scoreboard. What will yield to the Lady Rams at to the top of the seventh? Find out when we come back. This is Lady Rams Softball from my Export. Qualifications and rules apply. See institution for details. Bill, where are we going? We're trying to find my ATM. We just passed an ATM. But that's not my ATM. I lose four bucks if it's not my ATM. Make any ATM your ATM. Introducing free Casasa checking with monthly rewards like cash and ATM fees back in your pocket. Visit trycasasa.com. K-A-S-A-S-A. Visit People's National Bank or peoplesnationalbank.com for your Casasa checking. Member FDIC. Registration for fall classes at Renly College is going on now. With more than 100 degree and certificate programs, RLC can put you on the fast track to a new career or to continue your education. More affordable than four-year universities and private schools, you can save thousands of dollars at RLC. Our trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Walk-in registration continues through August. 15. Call us at 437-5321 or find us online at rlc.edu. Ridden Lake College, your journey starts here. Back to Mount Vernon Lady Rams softball. Powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. WIX and WIXSports.com as we head to the last chance seventh for the Lady Rams. Right. It'll be Hannah Wright, Rachel Wright, and Hannah Carbonaro do up at the top of the order, the most productive portion of the order today. No. For this Lady Ram team, a pair of home runs from right and a walk and a run scored. I wouldn't even pitch to her. Why risk it? I don't want you know you don't want to bring up the tying run to the plate, but I don't even think I would give her anything remotely close there. 
That's why that line drive at the end of the double plane of six was so huge, because she was coming up next. This one is low and away to Hannah Wright. I would I have picked it up a notch there. Rather go little sister. Make her beat me. Make Carbonaro beat her. Hannah Wright has had the hot bat today. Is that outside? Quickly 2-0 and now to Hannah Wright to start the inning. Rachel Wright, Hannah Carbonaro, law firm to start us off. Here in the last chance, seventh. Mount Vernon trails Carbonell eight to six. Here comes the pitch. Pierce will just miss in the dirt. You know, yeah, this is the unintentional, intentional walk. Kind of pitching around the zone. Jim Miller and Mike Butler over in the Carbondell stands just noticed that. All four there to go. Yep. They were not going to give her anything to even remotely think they could. Uh, of course, always Fairfield's up seven two in the seventh. By the way, over Sullivan. Bottom of seven. Eight to six here, top of the seventh. One on and nobody out. Eight to six ball game. Lady Rams have the tying run at the plate. Hannah Wright on first as Rachel Wright takes a pitch low for a ball. Always bank on your hometown team. Greedy First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Bank. And then all five of their Jefferson County branches. The one out to right. Up mm. and away, two and oh. Mm. Played hopping around the first time. First batter played hopping around on purpose. Now you got to try to find that zone again. Two balls, no strikes. Inside but across the plate. Two and one here to Rachel Wright. And a right on first. One on. Nobody out. Top of the seventh. Top of the order for the Lady Rams. The top of the order responsible for all six of the Lady Ram runs in this game. A mini conference at the circle. See how they're going to react to this. So, kind of a nice series or summary, what have you, for Hannah Wright. Homer, walk. Homer, walk. She scored all three times today. Two and one now. The count on Rachel Wright to catch her. Make it three and one as that hits the dirt. Hope. See how Sears rebounds. Three balls, one strike to count. Across the plate now, it's three and two. Good strike there. Comes back. Of course, the only bad thing about the unintentional intentional walk is disturb your rhythm at times. 3-2 is going to be a hard hit ground ball. That was flipped underneath and sneak through for a base hit. Past the diving third baseman at shortstop. And a single with nobody out but on the board. Thing is getting interesting now. This is where the say. arrow plot thickens. Is up, followed by Darner. And Kirsch, the three you want up. I mean, this is prime setup for Lance Bolton, the Lady Rams, to try to come back from behind here in the seventh. It was a Carbonell team, if I'm not mistaken, that upset the number one Lady Rams in 2012. Carbonero struck out twice against Sears in her first two at bats, had a hit off the relief pitcher. First pitch on the way. It's going to tail low and away for ball one. One over the count, two on. Tying run at first. Go ahead and run at the plate for the Lady Rams. You trail eight to six here in the top of the seventh. Nobody out here in the Lady Ram lineup. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Quentin Lloyd back at our mouth for the studio. Ooh, way that a miss on a pitch up. It'll be one and one here to Carbo. You're tired of big corporate bank, and you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home in Malford and Dixon Woodlawn and Ida. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Remember, FDIC, the 1-1 one, one outside. It'll be two balls and a strike here to Carbonero. Mm. Play jumping around. Two on. Nobody out for the Lady Rams here in the last chance seventh. Ooh. All right, Octane, that time, swung and a miss. It's two balls, two strikes to Chrome. Now Mallory Garner on deck. Garner's two for three today with four runs batted in. Horses. Okay, back off. Don't want to be in the moment too much, trying to be too aggressive. Two or two count on Hannah Carbonero. Two on, nobody out, top of the seventh. Tying run on first base for Lady Rams, who trail eight to six. Here it comes. Swag on a miss. Blake. Blake, first out of the inning. Mallory Garner already has four RBIs in the game. Steps to the plate. Eight, 
the six-year score. Mallory Garner, the go-ahead run at the plate. He's two for three, has four runs at an end, had a home run earlier. Here comes the pitch on the way. Going to tank in the dirt. It's 1-0. Oh. Fairfield beats Sullivan 7-2. to two. They'll play for the championship at Sexton St. Anthony on Saturday. 1-0, oh, catches the outside Ooh. corner. It's 1-1. One one. Carver leads Pinckneyville one nothing. bottom of the third softball. Callahan, the Callahan girl, is playing today. Oh, Ooh. chases with a pitch outside. It's one ball, two strikes. One through the count, one gone. Tying run on first for Buddy Rams. They trail eight to six in the last chance, seven. That time there, Sears staying away from Garner, not letting her extend her arms. Cool one. Chop ground ball, foul territory behind the plate. Stage one and two here to Garner. Rachel Kershaw next for the Lady Rams. They trail eight to six. Last chance, the seventh inning. Will the season go on or will it end here as the one two comes? Waves an outside pitch. Mm-hmm. Back to back strikeouts now for Lindsey Sears. Sears a little different now, and they're work toward the top of the order here, working not inside and up, but more outside and low. And you see the Mount Vernon pitchers or hitters not being too patient, swinging a lot of things in this inning. So Rachel Kirsch, the final chance for Lady Rams here in 2014. Down two, the sign run on first. It's going to be a strike across the inner half of the plate that turns her in. It'll be nothing in one to Kirsch. The spot in the order course, 0 for 2 today with a walk. Nothing in one to count. Two outs, top of the seventh. Be low and away for ball one. One and one. One ball, one strike. Here comes. It's high, two and one. First, the, perhaps the last chance for Lady Rams down two in the top of the seventh. Here comes. Puts the bat on the ball. It's found to the backstop netting. It's two and two. Lady Rams down to their final strike. Mm-hmm. Tension. Carbondale a strike away from a regional championship date with either Heron or Marion on Saturday morning. Lady Rams now away from their season being done. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two aboard here for Mount Vernon. Here it comes. Popped up right side. First base and will give chase and unable to make the glove Ooh. grab on a dime. She might have tripped. Yeah, she tripped and she was worried about running into the fence in the dugout over there. Alligator armed it a bit. So again, down to the final strike for Lady Rams. Got the first two base runners aboard here in the inning. And Back-to-back strikeouts have their backs against the wall. Two balls, two strikes to count. Runners on first and second here in the seventh. The 2-2 is swung on a miss from the Lady Rams. Win their season at 13-21. and 8-6 to six to your final score. We'll come back. We'll talk about it in the Spitzer Lake Cadillac postgame show. This is Lady Rams Softball from WMI Exports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Whether it's Mother Nature's inability to decide on a season, a weekend that got a little out of hand, or just life, there's always something looking to damage your vehicle. This is Chase Landers from Landers Collision Centers. Maybe winter weather turned your full-size sedan into a compact, or a little hail has your truck looking like Swiss cheese. Perhaps a deer decided to go for a ride on your hood, or maybe your truck is missing its hitch and bumper after pulling your little brother out of the ditch last weekend. Did a bad breakup leave a little graffiti on your SUV? We hope not, but we've seen it all, and we certainly don't judge. Whatever mess life has created for your vehicle, we'll clean it up. As a direct repair facility for many insurance companies, we take care of just about everything, even getting you into a temporary vehicle while we restore yours. That's the Lander's difference. Top to bottom, big or small, Lander's fixes them all. Come see us in Mount Vernon and Salem and ask us about free detailing for the life of your vehicle or call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. How can we keep the people we love safe and secure in their own home? Let the Medicine Shop's home medical equipment team help you with all your mobility and specialty product needs. 
They provide mobility products like motorized scooters, wheelchairs, and home stair lifts. The medicine shop's expertly trained staff can also provide car and van lift installations, and they offer a full-service repair facility for medical equipment, whether you purchased it from them or somewhere else. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black. We service a 60-mile radius area. It's a pretty wide area. We service uh, orders from several area hospitals, and we have the staff in place that really sets us apart. We have three respiratory therapists and two seating specialists uh, to help help with uh, seating on wheelchair and uh, power chair needs. And we just feel that we have the staff and the warehousing and the facilities in place to really set us apart from any of our competitors in the area. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Your spine is a miracle of engineering. So when pain strikes, your body is telling you to get help fast. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois is proud to feature their spine care team. Doctors Kowalski and Smith, the professionals at Orthopedic Center, specialize in back and neck pain. So put our spine care team on the job. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Stop the pain, fix the problem, and enjoy. Enjoy life again. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. This is Mount Vernon Lady Ram Softball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac Postgame Show starts now. Welcome back. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac Postgame Show. 3423 Broadway. And not, you're okay. I got it. No? Turn the volume up, I guess. There we go. Anyhow, Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac Postgame Show. Always good to visit. Mike Lady Rams. Oh, yeah. Just a basketball tennis coach, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Good dude. Unfortunately, D.C., though, the Lady Rams season comes to an end here, 8-6 to six, at the hands of the Carbondale Terriers for second consecutive season. Third consecutive season, actually. And um, probably rough for them. The season comes to a close. Final record, of course, is 13-21, and 21, but not much to do here. We owe a player of the game. We'll get to that a little bit later on in this Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show, but we need... Scoring the stat. Mount Vernon six runs, seven hits, one error, nobody left on base. Carbondale eight runs, twelve hits, no errors. Winning pitcher Lindsay Sears. She's also the one that gets the save. And Bria Meyer takes loss for Mount Vernon in a regional game, which Mount Vernon loses today, eight to six. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac post game show. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll get your final Lady Ram player of the game. You're in 2014, eight to six. Your final Lady Rams fall to 13 and 21. Carbondale moves on to a regional championship game on Saturday morning. This is Lady Ram Softball from WIX Sports. You need a great quality, new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance Auto has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over 34 years. Honest, fair deals. Ain't nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties and bank rate financing for all. That's the only way Second Chance Auto will do business. They're receiving new vehicles every day. So be sure to stop by and find out how you can save thousands on the total cost of your vehicle. Helping people get out a great, dependable vehicle for over 34 years. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244 45 Registration for fall classes at Renly College is going on now. With more than 100 degree and certificate programs, RLC can put you on the fast track to a new career or to continue your education. More affordable than four-year universities and private schools, you can save thousands of dollars at RLC. Our trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Walk-in registration continues through August 15th. Call us at 437-5321 or find us online at rlc.edu. Renly College, your journey starts here follow us on twitter at wmix sports this is mount vernon lady ram softball welcome back to wmix wmix sports.com for final time this softball season as the mount vernon lady rams follow the carbondale terriers by a score of eight to six here in the heron class 3a regional not much to do here on your schmitz for lake cadillac post game show we give you our final player of the game or players of the game as the case may be hannah wright mallory garner Big time games today in the top of the order. First, top of the order, four, one through five spots. A lot of runs driven in. Four for Garner, two home runs from Ryan. That was the offense. So it comes up short. Mount Vernon loses eight to six. That will do it for us. This softball season. We'll have Mount Vernon Rams baseball on Thursday as they host. Actually, they're the visitors at the Mount Vernon Regional. They're the number three seed versus the number two. Marion Wildcats. 415 will be your pregame on Thursday afternoon. You can listen with a 430 first pitch right here on WMIX. Lady Rams close out their season with a 13 and 21 record. For Danny Zerwinski, for Quentin Lloyd, for all of us at WMIX Sports, thank you for taking the time to access our broadcast today. 
Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports to stay up to date. I'm Chris Shego, reminding you of the final score. The Lady Rams fall to Carbondale, 8 to 6. So long from Harris. Thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball from WMIX Sports. Lady Rams Softball from WMIX Sports is powered by the official voice of Lady Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Lady Rams Softball is also presented in part by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar. Winning Edge. Schmidt Ford of Salem. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon. And People's National Bank. Stay in the game on Twitter. Follow us at WMIX Sports or log on to WMIXSports.com. Now back to America's best music on the legendary WMIX. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Defend your vehicle.